Hey everyone, welcome back to another iLogic video. Today I want to go over iLogic Log and, and how it's helpful when it comes to coding. And so if I run this rule right here and you look over to the left, uh, so these messages show up. Uh, so that that's what iLogic Log is. And before I get started, make sure you subscribe if you're new. I make iLogic videos weekly and therefore beginners, uh, you know, people who are even starting iLogic, uh, these, these videos are for you. So make sure you subscribe and so you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, so let's get started. I think you need 2020 and up. Uh, 2019 might have this option for iLogic Log, uh, but you can check if you right click right here where on, next to the model tab, there's this iLogic Log. And uh, so that's where you can show messages. Uh, you know, you could also do message boxes, but sometimes you don't want to have those mes message box boxes show up all the time. Um, so if you wanted to type a message to show up there, you could just type logger info. This is a message. And I run that. It shows up right there. And so that's pretty cool. Uh, so you could also do other stuff like uh, you could do warning signs. Like if you know that the code is not going to work at some point or uh, if, if it's entering like a, a you know critical point, you could just say this is a warning. Whoops, I messed up the the that's all right yeah so it shows up right there this is a warning you could also filter out so if you only wanted to see like warning signs uh if i run this yeah you just you go down here to a uh, log level and uh, select warn and then you only see warnings uh, and i and i think it also shows errors so if i typed logger error error yeah so it shows uh warn and error right there and so this really helps out with debugging, especially when uh, sometimes the code will break down and and, I, and an engineer would tell me and I just go through the, the log and I'll see kind of see uh, what happened and where it's messed up. Uh, so there's also trace and trace is helpful because it, it indents it and it tells you what rule it's running. So if I run this right now, it tells me that it, it ran rule number one in this assembly and then it ended right here so that's really helpful uh, because if you run a rule within a rule which is very common uh, you could kind of um, see where the rule is going uh, so if I make another rule I think that'll be easier to explain and let's say I do a logger info this is rule 2 and let's go back to the first rule and I'm going to run the next rule so I logic EB Oops. Run rule. Rule two. So it starts off with rule one, and then it enters rule two, and then it runs rule two. Uh, so that's very helpful, especially when you have it on the trace. You could kind of see it's indented and stuff. And where can you use this in real applications? So normally, when you know you're trying to figure out where your 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 um your code is breaking you might put some message boxes here you put might put another message box over here uh, just to see where it's going on so let me just do something real fast i should have probably typed this up before whoops what i'm going to do is i'm going to run through each occurrences component definition so dim o o c oh no no for each o o c as component occurrence in osm comp occurrences next. If I wanted to see every occurrence inside this assembly, um, I could do message boxes, but I have you know quite a bit of components in here, and it's going to be a hassle. So let's say message box show. OOC name uh, if hmm, so hmm, how would I do this let me do this dim n as integer equal to 0 and plus equal to 1 if n is equal to 4 by 5 then oops then exit 4 all right so once it hits 5 I'm gonna exit so if I run this, you know I can see each of the component occurrence, uh, the name of inside this assembly. But this would kind of suck if I have to, you know, press OK each time the message shows up. 
So instead, what I can do, instead of showing that message box, I'm, I'm gonna suppress all of this right here. I can just type logger info name. And then all of the comp component occurrences are gonna show up right here. And that's you know helpful because uh, I don't have to make a message box and you know just sit there, uh, keep pressing okay and okay and okay. Uh, so right here I can see easier where it messes up and I can easily debug uh, what's going on. Anyways, guys, I hopefully hopefully this video was helpful. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. And you know for my fellow subscribers already, uh, thank you for sticking around. And there's going to be more videos to come. All right, so talk to you guys later.